150,000 Americans have died with COVID-19. The somber milestone comes as schools across the country figuring out how to safely return in the fall. Yesterday, Governor Raimondo touted the success of Rhode Island's child care centers, which have been safely open for weeks. In their second weekly Back to School Facebook Live forum this afternoon, the governor and education commissioner talked specifically about child care centers and what lessons can be learned from those successes. Iowa News reporter Rob Nesbitt has more on how they're applying it to their strategy to safely reopen schools. The governor's Facebook Live mentioned how well child care centers and camps are doing in Rhode Island, but also stressed how important it will be for the state to provide schools with supplies to keep kids safe. I want to open this up and begin this discussion. Around 1,300 people watched Governor Raimondo's Facebook Live, hearing from Rhode Island Department of Human Services Director Courtney Hawkins about how the state has been able to safely reopen about 75% of child care centers. If you do the work to mitigate the risk, um, you know, th all things are possible. Hawkins says that keeping kids in smaller groups and increased cleaning has been key at both child care centers and summer camps. Yale School of Public Health Dean Dr. Sten Vermond brought up several changes that schools will need to make and the support they'll need from the state. Some investments in our schools for some plexiglass, for the masks, for the hand sanitizer, we teachers can't do it all by ourselves. The Facebook Live has gathered more than 1,000 comments, mostly from concerned parents. <laughs> Stephanie Muse organized a car rally earlier this week that's against starting in-person learning on August 31st. She said during the rally that she doesn't feel as though a Facebook Live is an effective way to address parents' concerns. It can't be a Google form. It can't be something that you call a virtual town hall, but don't take questions or comments in. You're not hearing what Rhode Islanders are saying right now. Dr. Verman says that children make up less than 1% of COVID-19 cases. He's less concerned about students and more concerned that they could become vectors to older people who are more vulnerable to the virus. If we can avoid the, the sort of intimacy of the children with the vulnerable, that would be a good thing. Governor Raimondo says that the state plans on making investments to provide temperature screening devices, masks, and upgraded air filtration systems to schools reopening in August. Reporting from the control room, I'm Rob Nesbitt, Eyewitness News.